Well, this morning, a Naples art gallery is breaking new ground. It's bringing classic art into the digital age. Fox 4's Calvin Lewis is live at the E Millions Gallery. So, Calvin, what is going on there this morning? Yeah, so E Millions Art are ready to unveil their very first ever and Naples' first ever NFT. But before we take a sneak peek into that, you're probably thinking or wondering to yourself, what exactly is an NFT? So we put this little piece together as an explainer for you. NFT stands for non-fungible token, and they are unique pieces of digital content, meaning you can't physically touch them. You can think of it like a digital trading card, a collectible digital token that holds value to the buyer. NFTs provide the owner absolute rights over that object and include a record showing who owns it, like the way a title shows ownership of a car. Being a digital object, NFTs are bought and sold in online marketplaces and stored on the blockchain, a digital ledger used to record transactions. NFTs have grown in popularity over the last few months, with some selling for millions. And now, plenty of artists are getting in on the trend as a way to sell their artwork, both as a physical copy of their art along with the NFT version. E Millions Art are the first art enthusiasts in Naples to take the crypto plunge. So now that we're all caught up on what exactly an NFT is, it's time to talk a little bit about this particular piece. Now this piece is actually a mosaic of a very old photograph of Frank Sinatra in his youth. Uh, one that obviously can be explained a little bit more by our curator here, Marlisa Gardner. Marlisa, thank you so much for joining us Thanks this again morning. for having me. Um, so yes, yeah. this was done by uh, Robin Austin. It's a photo mosaic. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, the photo mosaic is about Frank Sinatra's, Frank Sinatra's history uh, when he was arrested uh, back in uh, 1938. Um, the piece is called The Price of Seduction and it's uh, regarding his time when he was arrested for seducing someone else's wife. Uh, it was illegal in the 1930s. Oh my. Uh, so he was pulled over, arrested, thrown in jail. And this is his mugshot. Um, so this is a beautiful version that Robin did uh, for an NFT purpose. Yeah, quite, quite scandalous back in the day, but also a unique <laughs> feature as well. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, being the very first art gallery in all of Naples to, to offer an NFT, what does that mean for you guys? Oh gosh, it's really exciting and um, we're simply you know, delighted to be able to offer it so quickly to the art market, especially here in, in Naples. I mean, we've been a very edgy and conversational uh, company to begin with. That's kind of what we run on is creating the conversation. And this certainly does create a conversation. And real quick, I just wanted to ask you, do you think that this is gonna sort of pave the way for more artists to go ahead and display their work through NFTs? Yeah, absolutely. We already have three more lined up to work with us and we're in the process of developing those now. Uh, we'll be launching probably in mid-December the entire company, uh, that division of it anyway. Very exciting. Yeah. Marlisa, thank you so much for joining thank us. You. So you can find more information about this ongoing exhibition only happening here at E Millions Art in Naples when you head over to our website right now at fox4now.com. For now, reporting live here in Naples, Calvin Lewis, Fox 4.